Hey there guys, it's me Zippy666 and today I got access to the Halo Infinite beta and so we're going to jump in, in a second and look at the, what guns are available so far, uh, some maps and maybe just play around with some bots or something. Right, so uh, this is the training mode, you can choose a few maps, 3-4 uh, Industries, these are the three maps that are available so far, Bazaar, Live Fire and Recharge. Uh, all of them are kind of close, quarterish quarter maps. Uh, live fire is probably the little bit biggest one out of all of this, mainly because the building is situated in the middle and there's like an air, a ring around outside. But otherwise, it's still quite close fire, uh, close range map. Uh, today, we're going to be checking out Bazaar, and we're going to go play. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, Halo Infinite so far. This is on the, the map Bazaar. Most starting classes, at least for now, until the game comes out, is a pistol and the M A40 AR. This was the MK50 sidekick. So around the map, there's usually like these little containers on the wall that the doors open. And once there's a gun in there, there's a blue outline, you can pick it up. Uh, this one's the VK70 Commando. And what I don't really know what to say it is. Like a fully auto rifle. It looks like a submachine gun. Like, like a vector or something that you get in other games. But aim down sight, like... I don't know how strong it is. When you get shot though, you get zoomed out, so it's kind of pointless. Anyway, let's start with the main guns. The pistol seems to be the strongest at the moment. I don't know what it is. It, maybe there's some more magnetism. Magnetism. It's just it's so much easier to do damage quicker in the head than it is with the AR. It just feels like you're shooting for ages. I mean, we still got the classic combo of shoot them a little bit, damage them, and then whack them to finish it. I wonder if you got the ninja still. I'm not sure. I think you I think you can hit the people in the back and do a lot of damage and like one-shot them, but I'm not entirely sure. I tried it a little bit, but I really can't tell, honestly. Someone hit me once in game, and it said Zippy666 got ninjured. Which I believe is the term when you get hit in the back of one shot, but I really don't. I've been trying to do it myself, but to get behind people is so... Eh. Just, I don't think it's very possible. I don't think it's as easy as it was in like Halo 3 or previous Halo installments. So this is the thing on the map. It's coming up in two seconds. This is a overshield. You just grab it. Then you press Q, activate it. It shifts it up and you see the bar above and it's all shield up now. Pick up this crap. Let's go for some grapple plays. Okay, this is the grapple. Beat him and punch him down. Uh, you can. I don't know. Where's a guy? I need a guy to kill. Grapple onto people and then beat them down. <laughs> I like the grapple hook. It's quite fun. You can't do like sling up and do like a pathfinder thing. It just doesn't work. You just lose the grapple hook doing it. Honestly, the pistol is my favourite go-to weapon at the moment. Unless, on certain maps in Bazaar, if you go under the map over here on the left-hand side, or right, oh, it's not here. It's still a good weapon, though. The heat... The heat... What is it? The heat wave? Basically, see the reticle site... Oh, God. Excuse me, sir. See the reticle site? You can make it vertical or horizontal. Obviously, vertical, you can get more damage on a player, but horizontal is easier to hit. And basically, it shoots out like a a bouncing beam of things. Hang on. Okay, I'm missing everything here. Just hit me. It's like, I don't know how the range is like. Let's give it a go. Where's someone I can shoot from far, far away? Oh, he's dead. God damn it. You've only got so many bullets, though. The good weapons you pick up on the map are only like, a, you know, so much ammo. Strong weapons got so much ammo. Like, there's a rocket launcher that spawns sometimes. The guns that spawn on the map are normally randomized. But look how easy. This, like, the pistol's got range. Got headshot potential. 
If you try and do it, oh, I haven't got the AR at the moment. If you try and do it with anything else, it just doesn't work. Anyway, let's stop for a second. And if I go to train options, you can choose what weapons that are available at the moment to spawn with. So we got the BR-57, let's pick that. And then let's work our way down the list. The CQS-480 Bulldog. So the BR is like what you had in previous Halo installments. Uh, I think there's a, there used to be a mode called SWAT, and it used to be one of the primary guns for that. Basically, if you headshot people, it's quite strong. One of the features I do like about this game, though, is that I can be... Oh, there's too many shoot me. I need... Damn, I'll try to show you shield until I punch. Basically, wait, if you hit someone, like, in the foot or the head, it lights up in a red light. Okay. And that, you know, it's, I just think it's a nice feature. I don't know if it's very strong for other people. But I like it. There's still a few things I don't get, like uh, when person's bright white. Usually that signifies they picked up overshield and it's active. But sometimes I find other pe like people, I don't know if they spawned in, but they have a white shield. I don't know if that means their shield's broken. There's a lot of confusing components that I don't understand them in. And I'll have to come into. Why can't I kill anyone with this gun? Honestly, I don't think this gun is as strong as it used to be. Oh, well. It might help if I like, hit shots, wouldn't it, to be honest? I think if you hit all the shots in the head, it's not too bad. I just don't... I think I still think the pistol is just the best. There's the grapple hook strong. You have to pick it up the map. You have to pick it off the map like uh, you do with shield or the overcloak. If it... On this bizarre map... If it's spawning in, it's going to be here, this, this, this beacon. Oh my god, will you stop this? Anyway, let's move on to a different gun. My, one of my favourite, the CQS-48 Bulldog. Yes, it's a shotgun. Not like a double barrel, it's a full-on, like, I don't know what you call it, a slug shotgun? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. It's a, I'm just going to call it a shotgun, though. It's strong. Basically, you can two-shot people depending on the range. Yeah, it's only got limited ammo. It comes with like 12 to 15 shots, I think. Oh, the rocket launcher. Yes, baby. Let's pick this up while we got a chance. Oh, God. Why the hell is it? I say it's strong and then I die. <laughs> but yeah, it's one of my favourite. If you can get active camo... Like, you still appear on the radar on the bottom left, but if you crouch, you don't anyway. You appear as, like, a red dot to the enemy. If you have, if you have this and active camo, you can just, like, stealth around the map. A lot of people don't, like, pay attention to, uh, the, to the radar on the bottom right. So it's so easy to normally get a few re-kills. I mean, if you really want to play it safe, you can just cr crouch walk everywhere, but that's so boring. I wonder where I died so I can pop the rocket launcher. The range of a shotgun is not great. Like, it's not surprising, really. If you don't get headshots with this, I think this gun's useless, honestly. I just got punched. Let's, uh, let's train try it now. Let's go for the gravity ammo. Everyone's old classic favourite. Uh, we'll give the heatwave another go. So, this, this is so fun with the grapple, I think. So, let's go in. Basically, one shots with people if they're in range. If not, it still does a lot of damage, and you might be able to get a second shot off to hit them. <laughs> so strong. There's no other, like, melee. You got. It's got a charge, though, so you can do about what? How much does it use? 10%, so you can get 10 hits. But like if people are low already. It's just so strong, especially if you've got the overshield. If people remember, there used to be a, a game, a custom game mode people used to play called Fat Man, where he walked so slow, like maybe this crouch speed. And he used to be like, he had an even tankier shield. I think it was like 300% overshield. And people just used to... I enjoyed it. I used to play a lot with friends. And you just running away, climbing. 
I mean, it's the same old gravity hammer that it's always been. I don't think there's any changes. The only thing that might be a little bit different, just a little bit, is I think the melee button, which is always a different action for the gravity hammer, is the same in this one. The only downside to the gravity hammer is obviously you've got to be in somewhat close proximity to your use. But also the fact that it takes a long time for a wind up. So it's not impossible. Oh, damn it. It's not impossible to die by, before you get into the range of the enemy. Anyway, enough with the, gra the gravity hammer. Let's move back on to the heat wave. The heat wave comes with a horizontal sight, or you can, you know, you can aim down sight to change it. I prefer the vertical because you can get more damage on someone if you hit. But obviously, that comes with the cost of it's harder to hit. Like there's just not as much AOE area to hit them with. It does have bounce shots like this. If you hit something, it bounces. But it does have a limit to the range. See, when it's vertically, you normally do it like you have like two or th you normally have like two or three hits. Get a kill. Where if you're doing it horizontally, like, unless you're like stood inside them, it's very hard to get a hit kill with it. Really, honestly, maybe even in a small impact closed room. It might work. Anyway, enough with those two. Let's move on to the next guns. We got the, the M41 Spunker. <laughs> and the MA4 ATR M. Well, the Spunk is just a rocket launcher. Let's go give it a go. It usually comes with four shots. There's some enemies. And yeah, it has a bit of splash damage. Uh, if you can, I'd always recommend aiming at someone's feet to shoot it. I'll try and demonstrate it here in a second. Where the hell is everyone? There we go. Hopefully these guys don't die quickly. Rather, you can like obviously aim at the person if you think you're really skilled. But I mean, it's better for, in my opinion, just to aim at the floor. Or maybe at like a back of a wall. I mean, it's pretty bog standard. It's a rocket launcher. It's quite slow over long distances though. So people will can jump it. That's the only downside, to, I say, with my tactic of aiming at the floor, but I just, like, it's a strong weapon. You can probably at least get a kill with each rocket as long as you don't do the whiffs. I mean, this is the other gun I said beforehand, the M40 AR. The M A40 AR is just the bog standard one you usually stand, stand with, start with on spawn. The rocket, like I said, though, only has four rockets, so it's very little. But like, if you if you're good enough, you can get probably like a kill. You maybe might even get like a squad kill. It's, it's just pretty. It's just a rocket launcher. It's not, I don't need as much to it. Easy to kill. Easy to kill. Easy to aim. You can aim down the side, but like, what does aiming down the side really do? A lot of the games. The guns don't actually have an aim the down the side. It's a pretty like box standard terminal like this. And if you get hit, but in this game, if you get shot while using, oh. if you get shot while aiming down the side with any gun in this game, you normally get kicked out of it. That goes for snipers, anything. Beat them down with a rocket launcher. Anyway, let's move on. Let's not keep this dragging. So the psychics, the pistol. We've already done that. The needler. And the plasma pistol. Let's start with the needler then. So the needler's been in many of the Halo games. It's a, I'd, I'd say it's a good fan favorite. It's quite similar to use. It's more or less auto aim. Be enraged if the reticle's red. How dare you kill him with a rocket? <laughs> Find a guy. Find my own guy. If the needler's red, when in the reticle, it sticks them. Once those needles stick inside them and blows up, they die. Usually, depending on how many you hit, but it's an easy weapon to use. Simple. There's, there's, a few, there's enough ammo for like three to five kills. Maybe more if you're really particular. The only problem I've had this session with using the needler against real people and bots is that, well, 
I'll show you. I, I, you shoot them and you walk away because you think they think they're dead, and they just get away scot free then because you kind of whiffed it up. I wouldn't say it's got great range. I say it's a. Uh, I say the reader's like close to mid range maybe. Even then, I think the mid range is pushing it. But you'll find out when you find try it for yourselves. Anyway, next gun, the plasma pistol. This is one that's been in many of the games as well. Usually use it to destroy vehicles in old games and kill tanky guys. You, tr you can hot, you can tap it, you can tap fire it. Each shot use one percent. It's not recommended though if you tap fire it. It takes a long time to kill someone. It's usually good for an anti shield, but then you should swap or punch the guy to do it. Like, trying to kill a guy with just spraying it is not advisable, in my opinion. You can, if you hold it down on the way, it charges up. Like, if you aim it, it's auto shot, and then you just go in for the punch. Quite easy weapon to use, in my opinion. Your timing's got to get rid of with it. The problem is, oh, that's not my shield. <laughs> I was getting shot through it. Ah. Uh. Grapple shot obtained. I like grapple all the way over the building. Oh. There's a cooldown on the grapple. You get up here. No. Solid wall we can't go over. Damn. I can whip in a shot now. This gun does have a bit of an auto aim, like if you fully charge up and lock on the sword, then fire, it does follow it, but it doesn't do it like greatly. Easiest way though is just to charge it fully when you're near them and then just... Where, why is there no like practice dummy when you need them? Come here, stop being up there. Charge it fully and then punch them. Jeez, why was that so hard to do? <laughs> they just kept going crazy. Yeah, well, it's like I said though, the single fire tap not recommendable. See how the bullet sort of followed him a little bit to the left or right? Like it's not hard to dodge, but it's not just easy shield breaking. And then he's like one little tickle away. That's how I advise it. I've tried to use it on vehicles to see if it disables them for a second. I haven't had any much luck yesterday yet so far. They've only introduced the one map. That has vehicles on Saturday. So and that is like the ghost, warthog, and a mongoose. I'm not even sure if they're still called that. I just presume they are. Anyway, enough with the blaze me pistol. Let's move on to something else now. Got the pulse carbine and the ravager. Let's go for those. So, the pulse carbine is. I think this is how it used to be in video games. Basically, it does a triple burst fire. If you, you know, track them well enough, it follows and it hits. But it's not like, it's like very little bit. So I wouldn't oh, get your hopes up for it all the time. I feel like it takes a while to kill someone as well with it. So I'm not too like partial this gun. I feel like if you can track the head a lot, then yeah. But like, the, it's a burst fire gun. So in like the in situations where you're like this, where you're like not doing too well aiming, it's just I don't know. You can whip out your pistol or other guns, and <laughs> well. It will do a bit. It just do. I think it's like a very partial gun. If you enjoy it, yeah, good. But I don't think it's the greatest gun. Honestly, I prefer many other guns. By the time you've shot between the burst fights and that, I think you would have been killed by a pistol or any other weapon, really. Power item available. Uh, let's move on to the Ravager. Hang on. Does this have a? No, it's just normal scope. Let's move into the Ravager then. This gun has a giant like melee knife on the front of it. Doesn't seem to impact like the melee, so it's not like a one-hit kill. 
Alright, I'll give it a go. He's got the overshield now. Alright, I hit him twice, it's still nothing. So it doesn't impact your melee that I know of. It's not like a, a one shot with this weapon melee. Uh, you can tap it. And it does a triple burst fire of like some sort of AoE energy. Ammo. Eh, it's not too bad, like in my opinion. It's got a bit, it's an arc. It's like a little mini grenade launcher. So in AoE situations, it's pretty when enemies are grouped up. If you uh, hold down the left trigger and fully charge it, it shoots out a giant like Molotov. I think it does damage on initial impact, but then it spreads into like a fire, as shown here. It's weird though; it goes up like high and stuff. I don't, I don't really understand it. But the longer, more you charge up, the bigger the percentage of the ammo and the thing takes. So yeah, there's nothing really like specials. Well, this gun's fun, I think, in its own way. Giant den AOE denial, but I wouldn't say the damage is obviously too high. I still think it's better than this, this pulse rifle. Maybe I just can't aim well though to make use of it. <laughs> also, this Ravager, like the more you charge it, the more it just takes a while to like, yeah, let's kill ourselves. So we can reset and give a show another showing of the gun. So with the pot, like the Ravager, like I said, you can charge it up fully. It takes off the more the longer you hold it, the more the charge takes. So not always advisable. And when you do fire it, I think it takes about 10%. A half charge is if you don't charge it all the way fully, though, it's always going to do the triple shot first. So if you're not if you're taking too long and you're charging it and wandering around and holding it. I don't know how long it is. It's gonna go down quite quickly. And when you let go, 10% is automatically taken. So this gun probably only has a few shots. It does hurt you. I don't know if it hurts teammates. I don't think friendly fire is a thing. Grenades is like hurt yourself as well. Oh well, that's enough with the Ravager. To the next guns, what else is left? You got the sniper rifle and the a shock rifle. The sniper rifle's pretty normal. Like any, like from any old Halo, oh. any Halo game. This gun's been in the game for generations over the Halos over the years. You know, scope. Oh, what? Stop hiding behind the wall. Oh, well, this is not a good showing, is it, right now? <laughs> oh, now ammo. Oh, crackers. Try that again, shall we? Instead of whiffing all our sniper shots. The nose toe is pretty accurate. I don't think there's like any two miss a chance of it if you do it correctly. Just recommended to always aim for the head. One shot always in the head with a sniper rifle. Two shots in the body or below. Uh, you can aim down the sight. Well, yeah, which is always nice. I feel like there's some elasticity, elasticity though sometimes. And elast. Like, like, I can't even aim down my sight because I'm getting you shot. So that, like, the no scope is needed to be probably used more often than not. Unless you're like not in. I don't. Know, I don't know what the bots were doing really over there. <laughs> Let's try and get a. Like, what are they? Doing? What are they? When you're shooting them, it's like. Oh. Obviously, every shot, uh, like, every shot, you know, makes the recoil happen, though, so it's not always as accurate to spam it, as demonstrated. Oh my god, I missed it anyway. Mainly because the guy rocket launched and they blew up. There's nothing else to the sniper, it's just a bog standard sniper that's been with the Halo game for generations. You get four shots, and I think you get four spare ammo. Just make sure you hit your headshots, I think, is the only thing. The next gun to try out is the shock rifle. Uh, don't think aiming down the sight has much difference to the not aiming down the sight. It might be the energy weapon version of a. I think it's just the energy weapon, the energy version of a sniper rifle. I think basically like an alien weapons. Oh, he's got the... Aim for the head, and you'll probably do all right with this gun. I think it's quite. 
quirky and fun this gun, honestly. Oh, it's like a little. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, he's not dead. What? Fine to a bot's chat. Not, that's not a good look. <laughs> it's just basically a sniper. Same sort of process. Aim down sight if you want, and aim at the head. Instead of like having a one bullet shot though, it's uh like, but well, it's a laser. So like, you better be all right at tracking. It's not for long. Just a little bit. I think it's is even more fun than a sniper personally. Probably takes a little bit longer to kill, but it's not that much longer. You have to just wait between like shots to. Oh, that grenade. Oh no, 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 no. I think you need to hit both the shot slow. As demonstrated, it's like a electric sort of burst energy sort of kind of ammo. So when you fire it, it's like a Tesla shot, and then if you don't hit all your shots, then it doesn't kill. Oh my lord. Sometimes I can do it, other times not. I think it's fun though. Oh my god. Oh. Try not to melee, just to show off the gun. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I think the Tesla gun's pretty good. What was it called though? Shock rifle. Pretty bog standard. I think it's fun. You just gotta, you just gotta make sure... When they're moving, it's harder to hit, I think. It's just trailing them, you know, and getting the timing down to shoot the shot. Just a picture as a sniper with energy rounds. So go for the head. If you stand still though, then you're probably... Like, I'll try and go for the bodies. Two shots of the bodies, okay. But you don't have like a big ammo pool for it, so it wastes the gun a bit. But yeah. Anyway, what else we got? There's a few more guns left, I think. Shot rifle, the skewer, and the V AK78 Commando. Right, the skewer. Uh, it's just a giant power bunker, basically. One shot, one kill. It probably ar it arcs a little bit. Oh, my. We have to reload after every shot. But it's one shot, one kill. Doesn't matter where you hit in the body, doesn't have to be headshots. Uh, same as rocket launcher. It only comes with four. It only comes with four ammo. You can aim down the sight like a, any other gun, but there's not much to it. Four shots. Just make sure you hit them. It does a bit of arc, so the long further the way are, the more the arc. But they're close enough. It's one shot. Ah, so just a freaking annoying. I'll do it all over again now. Uh, yeah. So the skewer, one shot, one kill. Yeah. So the skewer is one shot, one kill. Oh. No, it's not happening, chat. It arcs, like I said. You can tie it perfectly and trail him. I think you got to shoot a little bit of head. Doesn't have to be the headshot though, just go ham. You've earned this. So the next gun's the VK78 Commando. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it is exactly yet. From the image, it could be an AR. From the way it hand looks like as well, I think it's, it could be an vector like you get in some Call of Duty games, like an SMG. But the way it fires it, like it's automated, it sounds deadly. I don't know how accurate, like accuracy is pretty easy. Just, it's quite a small sight though, like reticle to aim with. So if you can trail, if you can trail people, easy. I can't make up my mind whether I like it or not though. I don't know if it's good at long distance, short distance. Like, we'll try a little bit now. 
I would say short distance. Like, even though the site's this big, I feel like it. The reticle gets bigger the more you destroy it. I also kind of think you have to aim at the head with this gun. It's fun to use, it sounds cool, but it's like. But, you know, like. I would never recommend it. I give it a go. Everyone might find some, a better way to do it. But at the moment, I don't have any good plans of it. Just go. If you, can, if you can concentrate the fire on the head, I think it's better than a not. If I go for body shots, I feel like with as with the human weapons, the UNC, I can't remember what they're called. What is it? UNCS? Oh, I don't remember. The humans, basically. With Spartan and all that. Like, if you, yeah, like if you get above the... The chest, the head, neck, whatever, shoulders. I think the gun's pretty good, but other than that, I'd say to use it at, like close proximity more than long distance. This is just from me, this might be just I'm bad with the gun. I try using it like this. Like Almost out of ammo, any shot, like I've said before, makes you get out of range. Yeah. I'm out of ammo. And this is out of ammo. Grapple 180. It's a really slow grapple. Fly, you beautiful. Oh, I missed it. Power item Bang! <laughs> I just do real love it doing the grapple melee. Shoot the way doing it so he dies in one shot. Yeah, so I, I, I like the idea of the VK78 Commando. This gun is currently on screen at the moment. But I just don't think it's great. Like, yeah, you got it. Aiming the head can always sometimes be easy, sometimes hard, depends on the situation. But it's not my favorite gun. I'd rather just use the pistol that you get a default. Honestly. And let me just check quickly. But yeah, that's all the guns for now. I'm gonna put it back to like the. I know this. No, the spunk is the shotgun. I mean the sniper. Spunk is the rocket launcher. Jeez, that was so. And I want the pistol. Pistol is the sidekick. Uh, I mean, let's look at the grenades. There's the pretty box standard frag grenade. There you go. Oh, that's not a frag grenade. Oh, let's kill it. Oh, Lord. Kill me. I'm literally standing here. So we can reset. Right, the frag grenade. Pretty box standard, as most games. It's a frag grenade. <laughs> it explodes after a little time. It doesn't explode on impact. It arcs when you do it, so you get, get when you get used to it. It's a handy tool. Grenades in general in this game, you use them as like an area denial or weaken the enemy either before, after, or during the fight. Like you be spraying like this, you throw a grenade. Oh, I don't have a grenade on me. Like he did there, and then you can finish them off. It explodes on you. Uh, let's see what other grenades there are. Uh, we did the frag. Let's do the plasma next. So the plasma, as from other previous Halo's installments, is a sticky grenade. You stick it to enemy. After a while, it blows up. Oh. If you don't hit someone with it, it just blows up. It's a timed grenade though, but it is a sticky grenade. Yeah, the trade box standard, like it arcs as all grenades do. If it just hits people with it, if you can get like one in there in a group of people, they usually. If it doesn't kill them, it, like they're like a tickle away to die. Power items on what other grenades are there? We've got the dynamo grenade. I haven't really figured this one out yet. I think it's like a Tesla grenade, so you throw it. It doesn't have to be in the enemy. Power okay, just kill me. How are you guys? Ah! Oh, that's not what I, Oh, look. Oh, Lord, what have I done? Right, the Tesla grenade! No, it's not even the Tesla, it's called the Dynamo, isn't it? Dynamo grenade. As shown here, by that guy that just threw it, it's like an electric grenade. Um, 
I'm not sure how it works on vehicles. I've tried throwing it at it. I haven't noticed any difference. I feel like it's sort of like a tick over time damage grenade. I don't really know. Like, you throw it at people, it's in range. I think it just keeps zapping people in the airy range of it. So, I like it's an okay grenade in groups of situations. It, it doesn't last long. I don't know how much damage it really does. It doesn't blow up on, like, on impact. So it's not my favorite. It doesn't bounce very far. It doesn't throw very far. It's sort of just, I don't know. It's quite a close proximity one. And also I don't want to get hit by my own grenade. I'm not sure if this one does, but I just assume it does. There's a, it's on, no sure things hurt you if you get hit by them. Like rocket launcher splash damage, yada yada. Uh, that's all the grenades that are in the game at the moment. Frag grenade, plasma grenade, dynamo grenade. Oh, the spike grenade. We haven't shown that yet. Uh, the spike grenade was, I believe, in previous installments. It was used by the other races. I can't remember the name, so I'm blanking. But it wasn't used by humans, and it wasn't used by the people who used the energy weapons. It's more the brutes in that. This, uh, oh, that's not even the right grenade. Oh, there it is. I believe this one sticks to someone as well, if you can get it on them. Yeah, it does. And then it blows up, and it does like a little scatter shot sort of-esque. Oh, I died. <laughs> scatter, the grenade just like a scatter shot, so stick it if you can. It does more damage. Uh, I'm not sure if it's one shot. We'll give it a go. Oh, it's not a grenade. Oh, come here. Oh. It's not even the grenade I want. Okay, I didn't pick up the grenade. That's a bad damn. Grenade primary. Spike grenade. I mean, it's called the spike grenade, so you think it spikes people. Grapple shot obtained. Where are they? Where's an enemy's test is on? Aerial velocity Grenade! Stick it in there! <laughs> he didn't kill the guy. You can see all the damage done to his armor. So I'm not sure about the spike grenade as well. I mean, grenade's a grenade. I just always prefer frag and plasma personally, but maybe it's because I'm like a bit old school. <laughs> we'll see what other people think. If you've got any ideas, leave them in the comment section. Uh, but yeah, that's all the grenades they're implementing in the game for now. I don't know if they're going to bring out more later, or these are all the only grenades options in the game. Like, they can stand on it, so you can always check out the wall. I just don't think, he, I think if he's stuck to them, it can one shot, but anyone near him won't die probably from it unless they're already damaged. Is there anyone else I can stick quickly? We walk back into it. He was already low though. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to show you guys, really. Grenade. Oh, the equipment. Let's do active camo. Uh, usually you can't find them on yourself like this. Normally it's a power up that comes on the map. It alternates between camo, active camo, and overshield. But for now, we'll show you the camo. Basically, once you pick it up, usually by E, while interacting with one of these points, depending on what is spawning on that game, you press Q to activate. It puts onto you after a little animation, and you're invisible. Uh, you're still shown on the radar, which is in the bottom left, but on enemies' radar. If you crouch, though, like normal anyway, you're hidden from the radar. Obviously, when you crouch, you're slower. If you sprint or do any animation, or act, 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 any sort of animation, shooting, sprinting, jumping, even. Jumping count? No, jumping doesn't count. If you do like animation like shooting, grenading, mailing someone, you come out of camo. Uh, I'm not sure how long it lasts for. I'm going to say between 20 to 30 seconds. Don't know how. The, that's just a guess though. So find out for yourselves. Um, bring it on again. I think it's quite a fun one to use. Takes a while to charge up. You know, like. Um, Obviously, like, shooting brings you out of the animation. I always think it's quite good for sh short, uh, close range weapons. If you're carrying a gravity hammer, no one knows you're there. Wham! They're probably instant dead anyway. Uh, stay with a shotgun, get in their face, boom! I wouldn't recommend crouch walking everywhere. Like, you are still a blur on the thing, so if they, they pay attention too hard to you, they might notice. And also, oh my lord.
But, like, I'm sure you can find creative ways to use it. I think it's good fun. You do notice people on the map, though. It's like a blur, so... It's not, like, the, the strongest active ever. It's just, it's just good fun. Anyway, what other actives have we got in this game? Equipment. Drop ball. Easy to find over the map. In Bazaar, like the grapple hook, it spawns on this one. Only one for a map map. So if you get a... Uh, I don't think it alternates. I'm not really sure. Basically, you press Q, you throw down the wall, you get these squares. And each square takes a very little... It's not much damage. Say like a couple of bullets and it disappears. Uh, you can shoot through it. You can grenade through it. But like you do... You, Shooting doesn't damage it, but your own explosives do. It has a little cooldown, so you can't keep throwing it down. You can only throw one down at a time anyway. Uh, basically, yeah, it's quirky. I'm not a huge fan of it. You can chuck it in like walls and that to separate. But you can walk through it. The enemy can walk through it. They can melee it. You can melee it. You can damage your own thing. Like It's just... I, like, but there's not many bullets actually oh, it holds off. It's not like a whole second. It's usually like one bullet is broken already. And it's broken like a square in it. And usually it's where your people are going to aim at. They're not going to shoot the whole thing out. So I don't think it's too great. Like, see, like, it's where your bullets land. Pistol takes two bullets, but like, two bullets at this fight rate of fire isn't like a whole lot. It could save you in a fight, maybe like one or two bullets, and you have the the upper hand advantage. But I still think it's kind of second best, honestly. Uh, the grapple shot, you've seen me use this okay, throughout the game. Not quite as Pathfinders. Use Q onto wall, wherever, floor, enemies even, and it drags you to it. It's not too long range, so it won't like, I can't do it the other side of the map from here, like this, for example. Uh... If you move too much, like looking left or right, it ends and you just end up going very little distance. So you can't like get ready to use Pathfinder yourself and then sling yourself across the map. It doesn't work like that. Oh. It's more like a straight line and launch yourself or sort of thing. Uh, as I said, you can do it on enemies. Shoot them, melee them, whatever you want to do during it, after it. I think it's quite fun though to grapple and hit people with. That's my favorite way to use it anyway. Obviously, you're just going in a straight line though if you're grappling, so it's maybe not the best option. It's more of a fun niche thing to do. The overshield, same as like the, the camo active. Once you can pick it up on the floor like on Bazaar. Uh, once you do, you press Q. It has an animation, it puts it on, and you can see your, sh your health bar is now yellow and slowly ticking down. Basically, you have an extra shield, tank a bit more damage. Your normal shield does it. None of these people can aim, neither can I apparently. But it slowly ticks down over time, and once it's gone, it's gone. It's a nice addition to have, it just means you attack more damage. But just forget, don't forget that it does go down over time, so if you're not constantly in fighting and using it. And obviously the more you're fighting, the more your health goes down anyway, so... It, it's nice, it's better than the extra cabos, I think, in most situations. But, at last, it has its... Downsides to it. Overshield what applied. else we got? Uh, there's the repulsor. Uh, this is fun to use, I guess, but it depends on what guns you're running, how your play style is. For me, it doesn't make a much of an impact unless you're going to knock people off the map. But basically, you press Q to activate it, yes. and it sends like a force field which knocks people away. Uh, as I said, like if you're using Pistol's okay, I guess, if they're in your face and you can't find them, knock them away, but as a uh, as an active, it's not my favourite. Like, you knock them away, you can probably shoot them and kill them if you're good enough. Where the hell do you go? Where's my, where's my sacrifices? It's got the overshield. Knock them away, and then get them down. It's, it's, not, it's got a very small range to it, though, so... I don't hope too much for it. Yeah, like, uh, if it's there, I pick it up, but I always, my priority is either overshield, camo, grapple hook. I don't know how it interacts with vehicles, but 
Alas, that is what it is. Moving on again. Threat sensor. I don't really understand. I've never used it before. Hang on. Oh, so it's like the recon thing you get in Fortnite on various other games. Press Q. To activate it, you sound out like a sonar grenade. And what does it do? Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, so basically it pings its enemies for you. Through walls, the name. That's literally it. Recon dart, or whatever you want to call it. I don't think it has a huge AoE. It's quite small by the looks of it. It's one I haven't really used much. I even found where to pick it up, unless you find it. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be more maps introduced. <laughs> One shot rocket. But you get four of them apparently when you pick them up. And so, yeah. I guess it's good. Oh, you can stick it to enemies as well. So that's nice. Yeah, it's like it's like a grenade basically, but pings enemies. But it's under the equipment section. It's like it's got a little bit. So it's better to use on like small corners or rooms to clear out. You can't break it. I wonder if the enemy can break it. Does Manian break it? It looks like it just it explodes on its own after timeout. Yeah, it's okay in my opinion. I don't know how much use you're gonna get. Maybe if you're playing with friends, you can do it. Like you know, group up together and find it. Why did you kill him? Oh no! I thought he was dead by those two shotguns. I thought you might do you have to. I don't think there's any other equipment to show you guys. No, so that's it. Uh, I've gone through the primary grenades. Wait, this is all that's accessible for us at the moment. So yeah, there's you got the three maps as I introduced at the beginning. This one's currently bizarre. Uh, but yeah, that's all we have access to at the moment in the Halo Infinite beta. Not too long. I think it's coming out. The, I think this game comes out at the end of November. I still. Don't know. Items on the nice addition, but I don't think it's like going to be all that great. The only time it might make a use is when your teammates are doing it together. So yeah, if you are... Uh, <laughs> that's a little insight of what's available, what's in the game so far. So guys, I hope that's given you an insight into Halo Infinite. Uh, hopefully there'll be more added to the game as the game comes out, and I believe it's released on late end of November, as long as it doesn't get pushed back. But this is Halo Infinite so far. This is the beta. Uh, they're introducing a few segments, so it's usually between 6pm and 10pm for multiplayer, and then there's 1am to 5pm. This is for UK standard times, so it might vary for other countries. Uh, it's accessible for most weekends. I believe the following weekend it's coming up. It's going to be accessible again. But if you want more info, info, you can find it via searching via whatever the hell you want. So anyway, thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope this help. This video helps. And if you liked it, make sure to give me a like and a subscribe. I'm 66 and goodbye.